I want more highs. But I also don't want to make it painful, so I'm going to add a, this, um, a sidechain compressor or de -esser. Yeah, the esser. I'm going to use it in split mode, so it, uh, we're hanging again. Too much stuff. Otto can't handle this track. Nice. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Whoo! Uh, I think that the mix is really messed up in, in here, like. Also, I wanna compress it a bit. the bass, uh, the drums. Huh. Oh, does it? Is it? Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Let's just select all of that. And do Alt D. Oh, for the best. Is it there? Gonna be there? Oh yeah, nice. And two more times. I could actually go Shift D and just type 3. But I wanted to verify the first duplication. first because before I do this stuff hmm. let's listen <laughs> I want I want to automate something to to change up this this part and this last part too. And I think I'm gonna try to automate something in Oxy. I'm gonna see. Maybe at first I'm gonna try to per perform it live. Okay, I'm gonna try to automate the course operation operator D course tune. Yep. Uh, you never never did that before. Zero four six. Okay, I'm gonna insert here a point zero four six. Good. Now insert again here so I don't mess it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And <laughs> now turn on the play. Let's see. Does it work? I don't hear a difference. I think it should be operator E, actually. Yeah, it was operator E. I wonder nothing changes because operator D doesn't do shit. Or at least not, not, not as important as operator E. Yeah, look at this, it's destroyed. Alrighty again. Uh, automation, OxyFMs and operator E. Operator E. Course tune. Wee. Play. This one is just in the middle. Sweet. 
Okay. Let's see what we can do. Pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. How about this? And then reset. Or just this. Sweet! Sweet and nasty. How about this? I think this is very, very nice. Let's listen to the context. I just, I just hope, uh, I just wish that it would like not make some so much stair steps. Well, that's pretty painful. I think I need to uh, do something about it. Yep, I think we need a we need some solid uh, solid DSing or maybe a dynamic queue. I don't know. Let's try a Zam dynamic EQ. Okay, so yeah, because we have painful frequencies. I'm also going to turn this down because it's just. I think it's a better. Hmm. Not sure. It's not perfect, but it's better. Uh, I'm also going to add just some static EQ. I think I have way too much, too many plugins in this session. I think the bass, this bass is a bit too loud, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to turn it down. Uh, 
All right. Um, I had to restart the whole machine because it just get got hung. <laughs> So our whole business with the automation of uh, OxyFM synth operator E is lost because Ardor <sighs> Ardor doesn't autosave on if you don't record audio and edit audio and on version five at least. Well, so that's we're fucked. Need to redo this. Okay, but hopefully I already know what I wanted to do. So shouldn't be as bad yeah but yeah it's bad everything is lost well fuck <sighs> uh, I don't want it to go as high Do this, see what happens. Okay, kind of, kind of, kind of working. Maybe Ardor didn't like the dynamic EQ I used. I don't know. Oh, that's so painful. My goodness. I have to fix this. It's just terrible. Just fucking terrible. Okay, let's solo the instrument. Let's make it quieter. All right, this ain't gonna work. Bad, bad news. Something's messed up. Oh, because the, the bass the reverbs. Let's listen again. Pretty okay. I want to have more ghost snare snare. Those notes, hey, fuck. I want more of this. this here. Oh, I think there's a kick missing, isn't there a kick missing? Try. Okay, so we're not playing... Uh, we're not playing music with the snare anymore because it didn't save, so fuck it. I don't remember what there was, what was there, so can redo it. Uh, 
All right, so this was too high. Let's try that way. this. Pretty sweet. Just move the bass. Uh, maybe save it. I love this breakbeat. Wow. You know what? I need a sub. I need a sub mix for the basses. Because they are all over the place in terms of loudness, and I just need to a way to unify that. Bass sub mix. Okay. Huh. Alrighty, so how do I do this? Because I think all bases go to the sidechain bus, but Okay, I'm gonna try to re move them to the sidechain. Oh the Freezer tracks are going for... Oh, shit. That explains some problems. Oh, and this goes... Wait, what? 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 Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, that, that makes sense. No, no. No size chain bus, dude. Now we need base submix. Okay. Any other bases? Yeah, there's this base too. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Okay. Wrong button! Not sidechain, but base submix. And the freezer too, please. Base submix. Okay. And base submix should go to sidechain bus. Hey. hey. And the sour base and sour base reverb also go to base sub mix. Fuck. Mm, that's no good. All right, let's let's do this. Let let them go. I'm gonna just use automation to disable the sidechain compression there. <laughs> That ain't work. Sidechain bus. I'm going to just go and bypass, bitch. Play. <laughs> All right, now the bass submix can have a compressor. I will unify the loudness of everything, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, why is there no... Why didn't display? Hello. Okay, let's listen to the basses across the whole track and see. <laughs> if they are... Alrighty, pretty, pretty okay. Still, I feel like the drums are quieter here than they are there. Maybe it's because of the the change in and the change in. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, this. Interesting. I want the crash there too. Pretty, pretty fine. Hmm. I think I just want to copy the, the intro over. Or intro and this part uh, to basically make it uh, an accolade. I think that's the term. Make it feel like it's coming to like closing a, a cycle. Okay, let's control C and now go to the end of the things and do control V. This should be here. Now wait a bit, because there's a lot of clips to copy and order makes a duplicate of every single MIDI file there. And every region is a separate MIDI file, so it's probably like you know, duplicating hundreds of MIDI files right now. Which takes a while. 
I'm glad this track is coming, like, coming together, making, starting to feel legitimately interesting. Oh, what the heck? What the f... Mm, oh, ah, oh yeah, all right. <laughs> why is there... Why does... Why doesn't this play? Oh, I have this muted? Why muted? Ah, automation, all right. Uh, okay. How about I copy the drum pattern patterns and, and reuse them here? Okay. I'm not going to start calling this, these sections what they are. Sometimes. Let's call this F for no reason. I just you know, need a little bit of a reference to know where my drums fuck. Thing, drum things are. Uh, okay, let's copy. Oh, it's not. A, it's not everything. It's... All right, let's copy and now let's paste it here over this stuff. Hopefully, it's gonna replace it nicely. And allow me to like you know. Give this this beat that is was already used and use that. Maybe also do something with the bass. I don't know. It's taking a while. Using lots of RAM. Oh, what? Oh, okay. That's why I did. Yeah, 13 gigs. Did it work? Not yet. Still waiting. Not, it's empty. Why is it empty? Ah, it's probably because it was the first one in the session and it got cleared. Yeah, of course it did. Let's change the name so it doesn't do this again. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you everything about avoiding bugs. How about actually swapping these two? That would make more sense, I think. Yes. Okay, how can I do this easily? Maybe just use this automation. Yeah, let's just do this. Copy this. Uh, and paste it here. Then, copy these two. All right, cut them, and paste them here, right? Now, just move this base here. It should work, right?
<laughs> That's a pretty clever ending, if you ask me. I, I like it. I would just like this uh, this phaser to do some some more motion after that afterwards. Just just not let it just die so badly. I have tried to use free verb and uh, yeah, I have an idea. Oh, I haven't seen this. What is this? Ooh, I haven't used it. Okay, maybe let's not experiment with it. Actually, loading up plugins that you never used before is is very dangerous. You can just crash your session. Yeah, freeze mode, this is what I wanted. Yeah, that's gonna give me this very cool sound. Okay, free verb, freeze mode, this is what I wanna automate. And I also wanna automate wet level, because I just don't want this reverb to do anything for the most part. Just pretty verb, wet level. Okay, so I just wanna to activate the freeze mode here and make the the wet level here be let's see if it works Yeah, I love it. Now, there's one cool plugin I like, Bitrot plugins. I want to, yay, tape stop. I want to use this. And I'm going to put the tape stop after this. And activate it. Just make it, yeah, make it hang and then just tape, tape stop it. Like this. Oh, I didn't switch this. Yeah, also I want to make it slower. <laughs> okay, I wanted it faster and I actually wanted to fade. This doesn't sound good. Like it. I wonder if I can use these effects somewhere else. Yeah, I think I could. Yeah. Let's do that. It's going to be really, really awesome. Okay, let's automate. Let's activate freeze for this and make the wet level here. Zero five, just a second, that's, that's a good level. Now then go back to, to zero. Then we can mute and unmute it. And I could just, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> Sweet. I'd like to actually make some room for this, like let's not have any any drums. Or automate them so they disappear. Okay. Just have them go up and this stuff go. Yeah, and 
copied the same thing there as well. Control C, Control V. <laughs> yeah, let's do it again. Because why not? Let's do it here. Whoa, not here. Not here? Yeah, not here. Okay, one, two, three, four, this. Oh, wow, something's... I think I just, I don't know, I'm missing it. Let's also copy this automation because why should I have to redo that at all? Okay, let's do it here. And here too. Let's try. <laughs> I think I could also make this louder, rise the wet level. Oh, this is really awesome. It's surreal. This doesn't belong here, though. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to unmute it and remove this drum automation because the drums need to hit here. They need to hit hard. Yeah, so after this one, I can basically disable the freeze mode. Mm, yeah. Uh, tape stop, no. Freeze mode, disable the freeze mode. And bring the uh, wet level to zero. Yeah, now, now I need to play this. Okay, I think it's pretty cool. Save it. Uh, I think we could add some more cool, sl sm small cool sounds. Little tiny glitchy thingies. I think it's gonna be fun. Mm, we had a few of those and they turned out very pretty well. Let's try and make more. Oh! My keyboard. Okay. Sorry. Gotta activate the MIDI bridge, I guess. 
export hardware ports. Yes, start. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's go with the init patch. Let's make it very low. Interesting. I think again the note pitch is not enough. Oh, where's the Oh there it is. Let's go V one twenty seven. Oh my goodness. Alright, I don't want I don't want this to be a base, so let me just call this FX free. And uh, give it some Reverb. Reverb. And hype as it, because we don't want the bass. That took a while. <laughs> that took a big while, long while. Okay, I think I want to do something weird. Awesome. <laughs> hey, just want to make it. I want to. Get less cranes, see what happens. Nice. Oh my goodness, it's so unresponsive. I think I need an EQ. Oh, I have one. My goodness, every single click takes forever to execute. I don't know if the video recording is going to be any good because this is so unresponsive. Oh, where is this note? Yeah. Okay. I want to add some delay for that. Yeah, like make it a triple quarter note. 
Let's make it give it more feedback. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try it. How about this? Does it work? How about this? Nice. What? What was this? Okay, I'm gonna copy these two, maybe to the last part. Try to bring some Oh, this didn't copy or did it? Ah, it did, but... Oh, it didn't. Oh, it did? I don't know. Nice. I think I would like to try some reverser on the drum bus too. Because that would sound really cool. Especially like, you know, you think like this is something you can't do live with plugins without bouncing it to audio and then processing that, but you can. You just need a little plugin called Bitrot Reverser. <laughs> Super awesome. I definitely want to use that, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's listen. Not everywhere. Should be just accents. I think this would fit. here maybe a maybe a tiny small one or two small ones instead of one big instead of a, a big one uh, okay <laughs> yeah that's awesome Is there a crash? Because I can hear it. There is no crash. I want to crash here, please. <laughs> yeah, I want some reverse or two. Reserves here too. Oh, yes. Oh, how about this?
Oh, no, no, not this, not this lane. <laughs> this lane. I'm gonna reverse the snare. Yes. <laughs> Let's try it here. Fantastic. Let's try it here too. I'm just gonna try it here, maybe on a longer part. See what happens. reversing kicks. Reverser really gives it, makes it makes it feel like another different level. It's, I really love that. Oh man, I gotta make a whole list of plugins I used, which is gonna be long, <laughs> really freaking long. I wonder if I can somehow generate it. Okay, I want to make some other cool sounds like this. Maybe let's try use Dexit for that this time. Because I have a few spare tracks. So uh, yeah, just let's try and use Dexit. Hey. Let's use a mono to stereo splitter. Uh, do I have something like that in the favorites? I don't. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's go with split. Oh, I'm waiting. We've got to wait. Splitter. Mono to stereo splitter. Let's add it to my favorites. Oh my goodness, it's so unresponsive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's, that's some weirdo patch. Hello, Dexit, can you... Yeah, in it. Oh, good. I, I missed that button in... <laughs> I missed that button in OxyFM since... In it. Whew. All right, so we can sum two things. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Where's the pitch? And there it is. Middle C. Yeah, I want to be a bass. Oh, why not? Hmm, I don't 
understand this. Okay. Nice. Pretty weird. Like it. Okay, four. So four is uh, a separate thingy. sounds. Okay. Um. Hmm, strange. Like it's pretty weird. Let's see what we can do with it. Can we maybe? Oh yeah, this can be interesting. Let's see. That's pretty interesting, yes. Um, what can we do to really mess up the sound? Add a whole bunch of very, very fast delays. 